I've been an area resident for 30 years. And lately, for 10 years, I've been a city resident. And election after election, scandal after scandal, corruption after corruption, leads me now to here to this place where we have an administration that's just totally dishonest, manipulative, and we, have, we need a return to uh, uh, better policing, uh, more professional policing. And that is why I'm here to announce my candidacy for mayor of the city of Flint. My name is Ronald Higgerson, and a vote for Ronald Higgerson is a vote for everybody in the city and for American business around the country to know that Flint is open for business again. Um, the first thing we need to do before starting business in my administration is correcting the water problem that we have. Everybody wants our bulk water rights. Um, I will sit down and negotiate with the KWA and the GLWA. We have a North Pipeline and a South Pipeline. It's kind of like the movie um, Gone with the Wind. Everybody wants my water rights. Well, why do you want my water rights? Why do you want Flint water rights? In the next five to 20 to 60 years, medical marijuana, marijuana, indoor agriculture is going to be booming in the state of Michigan. Everybody wants our water. We haven't had it since the 60s. And then when we tried to get it because of corruption, we're in this place. Now, here's an example. This is a public place. She's going in. Are you going to pay your bill, ma'am? Yeah. She's going to pay her water bill. And they can't seem to give her a sidewalk so she can be happy while she pays her bill that the water she can't drink. It's the little things. The $100 that we should have spent didn't get spent. But to go back, we got to keep our bulk water rights. I say we keep our plan. It's going to be expensive. But with my other ideas and the Higgerson administration that we will put together, we will be able to afford this. Um, I also, um, no more meetings held in churches that should be held in City Hall. I thought that in Flint, in a union town where unions, you know, meetings, people used to get beat up if you said the wrong thing. It was a union town. Meetings were always open. All, all city meetings should be open and not held in churches. That was very bad. It's not nothing against the churches per se. I, I respect churches, but all meetings should be held in a public facility. Um, the TARP funds that we have, um, they spent $441 billion. No, no, they spent... No, they invested $426 billion and got 441 million back. And after all that, this is the only criticism I would have against the Obama administration, one of, I have many, but just one of the ones, is that they left Flint without covering an environmental cap on Buick City or on the AC spark plug. It has been proven, you don't have to do any more studies, that when grass and trees grow up through cement, that it was old industrial cement, the pollution that has migrated down is then brought into the air if you rough it up. Now, for some reason, and this is another example, and I call it adding to Flint stress, people do not care about Flint citizens. Somebody is parking vehicles on Buick City on open cement. We don't need a study. It's already been proven. All we need is the, the press to, to look into it. The studies are there. It's migrating off. Why, if they made 22 billion on the tarp funds, why didn't we get a dirt environmental cap and grass? So that's another part of my administration is we need the water fixed uh, and we need uh, the environmental caps on these places so we can rebuild. And to go back to the water, um, I've talked to citizens and one of the ideas that I've talked to them about, and they agree, and it might be a little expensive, but we need two water pipe, well, one water pipe coming out of the water station going to North Flint, one going to South Flint, and then we have like, back in the day, there was the African water hole. We've got to create where people know that pipe is clean. It's a new pipe, we, can, we don't have to bury it. We can run it up uh, top 
on the ground, put a box around, heat it with solar power, whatever, just so people know they have clean, fresh water. Because I am the one, I got poisoned by the rash. I did have rashes when all this happened. I was exercising, but I did develop the rashes, so I do believe that, like, all around the country, our water pipes are hideously bad, and we have to change them. So we have to start somewhere. So a pipe above ground in the community where there was an open tap that was sanitary and clean where they can get their water and they know it's clean. That's one of 